I have not heard of one example in Arizona where a business owner's religious liberty has been violated. The bill is broadly worded and could result in unintended and negative consequences. After weighing all of the arguments, I have vetoed Senate Bill 1062 moments ago. Arizona's governor strikes down a controversial law aimed at same-sex couples. What will be the ripple effect? To help us understand, we have Tim Holbrook, Emory University Associate Dean of Students and a professor of law. Thank you for being here, uh, Professor Holbrook. Thanks. Thanks for having me. And, and uh, very quickly, uh, give us a summary of the law that was struck down before we get onto the ripple effect. Sure. The law was designed to allow business owners to refuse to serve uh, LGBT members of the community. It was couched in terms of religious uh, effect, that if you had a strong religious view that uh, was contrary to uh, the lifestyles of LGBT persons, then you could deny service to those individuals. Okay, now what will be the ripple effect of this? Because uh, uh, Jan Brewer has st struck this down saying, and you, you, you heard the, the, the soundbite uh, just a moment ago, where she's saying, look, I haven't seen any instances in, in Arizona of uh, religious freedom being impinged. So, you know, maybe this is just a bit overblown. It's too wide, could have an unintended consequences. What will be the ripple? I think the ripple will be uh, other states considering similar legislation, such as here in Georgia, are going to rethink whether this is actually a good political move. Uh, I think it is uh, a response to a lot of the gains uh, that the LGBT community has made in the courts and in other areas, particularly with marriage equality. Uh, I think we now see that trying to, to, to use the LGBT issue as a political wedge issue is, is losing favor, particularly when you see uh, the large companies coming in and even the, the NFL coming in and saying, look, uh, we're, we're about diversity and inclusion, not about discrimination and exclusion. And uh, Arizona is a, a very conservative state in, in many ways. And, and uh, Arizona, Jan, Jan Brewer has been controversial in the past and she's striking down this law. Is that more of an indication that this, this, this issue is becoming less and less of a divisive thing and, and people who try to divide over it just just basically lose I think that absolutely is the case I think uh, this action on the on the political side uh, is in conjunction with what's been happening in the courts uh, with the marriage equality cases when you see courts in Utah Texas yesterday uh, Oklahoma finding a right to marriage equality it really signifies I think a significant change societal change in how we view uh, the rights of the LGBT community in the United States so uh, when this eventually comes before the Supreme Court as no doubt it, it will or, or, or it could I guess uh, how do you see it playing out do you see it playing out as look this this is just you know you know religious rights are important but so are inclusion of all members of the community uh, I, I think it will come down to that, particularly with, when it comes to issues of legal rights. Um, I think that uh, when we stop people from discriminating, we think there's no rational basis for it. We've done this with race in the past. We've done this uh, with uh, religion, in fact. Uh, and so I think the idea will be that basically when you're talking about the eliminating access or rights uh, to gays and lesbians, that's something that the state is not going to be allowed to, to justify or sanction. Uh, and I, th I think we'll see now, that now, in America. One of, one of the things, that very very quickly of this, uh, one of the things we've heard about uh, religious institutions is saying, hey, look, you know, we've got a, you know, a, a pro prohibition against uh, pr promoting a gay marriage and therefore we won't hire gay people. Is that going to be uh, outlawed, do you think? What, what is your guess? And I realize it is a guess. Quickly. Uh, yeah, my guess is no, that there will be some sort of safe harbor uh, for religious institutions that really do have uh, profound teaching against uh, the fine lesbian gay community to be engaging in, in uh, sinful conduct that's contrary to the religious views. Okay, thank you very much, Professor Tim Holbrook of Emory University. We appreciate your time, sir.